Today we will look how to create a basic Bensim model without any external aids. First of all, choose the drawing device and then drag the airway across the screen with the left mouse button. Every time you move the airway and click, it will start a new airway and follow the mouse cursor. When you have completed drawing the airways, simply press the escape button or click back on the airway you have just drawn to cancel the drawing. You can continue to draw and add to existing airways either from the nodes or the joins or midway along the airway. As the airway gets close to other airways, you will see the colour will change to yellow, which indicates it will join together. Make sure when you move the airways that the ends do actually join, otherwise the model will not report any flow. Once you have constructed a network of airways, select the end of the airway which goes to the surface with the edit button. The edit button looks like a spanner and then click on the option called surface. Do the same for both sides because most underground mines will have two entrances or more into the ventilation system. Finally you need to make the airflow move. To do that we require pressure. In Vensim you can choose the fan icon Click on the airway where pressure or fans are required and choose either a flow, a pressure, a power or a specific fan curve. All of these devices can assist in creating pressure. In most cases initial designs will require a fixed flow because this is normally what is calculated and known by the mine. In this case here we've chosen 100 cubic meters per second. When we press the simulation button, which is the white uh, airflow simulation uh, icon at the top, you'll notice that the model will automatically start to flow air, and the numbers here represent the airflow quantity in cubic meters per second. If we wish to change the flow, we can use the edit button or spanner at any time to click on the airway we wish to change, and then adjust the parameters. In this case here, we've changed it to 50 cubic meters per second, and when we re-simulate the model, it will adjust to suit the new 50 cubic meters per second fixed flow. If we want to extend the model, we can do so by drawing from existing airways. However, if the airways do not connect, you will find that when you run a simulation, a warning will show. The warning demonstrates that there is no connection for this airway and therefore no air will flow. While the simulation will still work, the simulation will assume that it's a dead end and it will alert you of this warning until such time as you indicate it is either a dead end or it connects to the surface. In this case here we will use the move button to join the airway to the existing model and when we do the simulation this time you will find that it will no longer report the warning. So congratulations you have created a very simple Vensi model. Using this technique we can create simple general models however in many cases, it is better to use an actual mine design, which we will do on our next tutorial.